So this is a video about the Full Moon Full Stop Super Tool. Um, the Full Moon Full Stop Super Tool, what is it? Why do it? How does it work? Everything in this video. The stop abbreviation is actually something that comes from dealing with survival situations. Do we have a survival situation? Well, let's find out. Okay, so here we go into detail. Um, full moon, full stop. Why full moon? Well, the idea is that it's an, something that happens every full moon. So I've been doing full moon, full stop now for four years on every full moon. Uh, the full moon is the reason to like to, the reason to use the full moon as kind of a marker is because the full moon is neutral. It's independent of religious beliefs, borders. Um, all kinds of human made differences, the full moon is kind of outside of this. The full moon is also a global natural phenomena, so it really helps us to, um, you know, have something united. It's on the same day globally, and it offers some perspective, you know, the size and distance to the planet. It really offers some perspectives and gives us or gives me an under understanding of my size on this planet and the size of life in general. Um, being a natural phenomena uh, with, a, with a rhythm to it, like uh, about 12 times a year, it also gives us uh, something, it connects us with the rest of nature, because the whole rest of nature is also reacting to the moon in really strong ways. So the whole rhythm of the natural world is connected to the moon, and that might not be a bad thing. And, well, we actually do that already anyway, often unconsciously. So the full moon full stop to be done around the full moon. Usually I take a whole day off for this, uh, sometimes a bit longer, sometimes a bit shorter, sometimes a few days after the full moon, sometimes a few days before, depending how I can arrange it. But the full moon is there as a marker. Um, let's go into the use of the stop tool. The stop tool is... Um, a tool that was created for dealing with survival situation, as I said. Um, S means to stop, to slow down, to sit down, maybe to sleep. Um, and depending on, on what day the full moon is, you might want to go on strike and not work, if you can afford it. Uh, the idea why to stop in a survival situation is um, very often panic might be uh, very tempting. And panic is usually not a good advisor in these kind of crisis situations. And if we don't know what to do and how to deal with situations and don't even know why to do certain things, then not doing anything for a moment might be a very good start. So let's move on towards the letter T. So the stop is, the S is we create an environment for thinking, a an environment where we can sit down and take a rest. So we can brew a cup of tea, and then have a round of gratitude. Thanking, gratitude, thankfulness, these are like opening the mind to positive thinking. And even in the worst situation, if you can still thank, that means you're still alive, and that might be something to be grateful for, because how amazing is life? I mean, it's like the most amazing. So, what to think about? Um, thinking about the six survival priorities. Why thinking about the six survival priorities? Because um, we qualify for being in a survival situation um, when one or more of the six survival priorities are not sustainably covered or insufficiently covered. So the big question in the letter T section of this abbreviation is survival situation, yes or no. As an example, for example, food, right, our six survival priorities, food, air, water, health, shelter, and community. For example, food, we might have the feeling that we get, um, that the energy input output of our food is really good, right, that we invest less energy to get the food to our table than what we get back from eating the food. Um, that might be very misleading because in reality we invest a lot more energy than what we get back uh, because we also need to look at, for example, how much energy does it take to um, produce and, and run the, um, the fishing trawler, the vessel that is catching the tuna that ends up on your pizza. By the way, watch Seaspiracy, like, uh, well, 
anyhow inform yourself like seafood has a lot of question marks to it anyhow so the energy input output balance of our food is usually like the at least the supermarket food is usually not positive um, so that's just one example something similar goes for the others community I uh, want to stress a little bit, um, mention it uh, particularly important because the community can back up for a lack of the other survival priorities to some extent. Uh, and community also includes humans, right? Um, we might think first community as our own community and our own species. Um, in the end, we are really a minority and the global community of life, yes, also includes humans. Um, we need to find our place in this. Anyhow, so once we have established yes or no to the question, do we have a survival situation, uh, we might want to move on to the O. And the O is to observe what kind of options we have, what opportunities are there. Uh, the O is a lot about asking questions. What is already good in our own life? What is good elsewhere? What works elsewhere? What solutions can we copy paste in our own life? And very, very, very important is the question, what is enough? What is enough? What can we really, really want? And while we are at it, why not asking also, what is my dream? So once we have figured out what is the situation, what opportunities we have, <coughs> excuse me, then we can move on to the plan. Letter P, plan. And the idea is to make a plan, a doable, potentially doable plan um, that we execute until the next full moon. Just a plan for the next month. Uh, the reason being is that we can get an overview, we can get an understanding, we can plan maybe the weeks a little bit better in detail. Um, <clears throat> and we can also then look back in the last month and see where we had success. So the plan until the next full moon, full stop. And um, usually I pick one or two survival priorities and focus on them. Community is always one of them. Um, big part of the letter P is also the choice of being positive. We know that if you are in a survival situation and you choose to be positive if you believe if you have hope if you think yeah probably we we might you know we might have a chance you know we might be able to do it then actually the odds that something will work out nicely in our advantage are much much higher so um yeah consider this right um being positive yeah and even if it means fake it till you make it <laughs> so after the stop, of course, comes the go. And the go, at least in my case, to me means just to be good and be one. Because, I mean, like, isn't that what we are? Like, we are just one species on this planet. And we are us, nature. Our life depends on all the rest of life. And the rest of life depends on our life. Beautiful and easy and simple. And just as a motivator, reaching high levels of sustainability, meaning exiting, getting out of this suicide madness of involuntary suicide, is actually a lot more fun and a lot easier than most of us might think. It's really worth a try. And the Full Moon Full Stop Super Tool is very, very helpful on that journey and this mission in life. That was it. I thought you might like this, so I shared this with you. Have a good time. Bye-bye.